So there was a 14-year-old girl by the name of Nadia Isle who uh, was born with ears that are larger than the average ears. And as a result, she was bullied for a long period of time. At the age of 10, she started begging her mom to take her to a plastic surgeon to get the ears pinned back. And, um, you know, her family couldn't afford it. So they reached out to uh, the Little Baby Face Foundation that helps pay for plastic surgeries for uh, teenagers that are being bullied because of, you know, certain facial features. And um, they decided to pay $40,000 for the procedure that she had done in addition to other procedures. So she went to go see this doctor and the doctor said, look, we're going to pin your ears back, but as soon as we do, all of a sudden your nose is going to stand out and you have kind of a big nose and it's crooked, right? Wow. Well, he didn't, I'm paraphrasing, right. yeah. but uh, I've yeah. seen the video. That's right. basically mm -hmm. what happened. And mm -hmm. then he basically says, and then if we do your nose, your chin is going to stand out. So we kind of have to do something different to change the shape of your chin. As a result, she literally had four different uh, plastic surgeries uh, at the age of 14. So people are questioning whether or not this is the appropriate thing to do when a child is bullied. Do we immediately take them to a plastic surgeon and change their facial features? So I want to get your thoughts on it. Who wants to go first? I, I am familiar with the piece. I read it just recently in the Huffington Post. and. I feel for Nadia, mm -hmm. I do. I think the bigger issue at hand is bullying and we do need to do more in schools to stop bullying. Um, I feel bad for her, but 14 years old is way too young. Who's to say that she wouldn't grow into her ears? I mean, I know at that age, mm -hmm. I had huge feet for myself and I <laughs> loved them. I did, I did. I felt like a little puppy dog, this like lanky puppy with like oversized feet, but I did grow into them. Right. So maybe, I'm not to say, maybe she wouldn't grow in her ears, maybe she would, and then maybe at 18, she can make that decision for herself. But 14 is way too young. Right. It's. It's a tough decision and it breaks my heart to hear about these stories where kids are getting bullied for things that they can't help and it's so right. damaging and it really beats you down and you have to be a really strong person to overcome it and be a better person for it. And I'd say as long as physically this is uh, safe for her, I would leave it to the parents and to the kid. Honestly, it's such a hard decision to judge mm -hmm. because I know I had terrible teeth growing up and I wanted braces so bad, but we couldn't afford them until a little bit later in my teen years. And it was it was something that did affect me. And like, unfortunately, I move, you know, you move forward and it's not something that has a permanent effect. But like, if she's getting teased for her ears every day going to school, I think it's kind of hard for me to just judge whether or not she should have. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you're in high school and middle school, that's when you uh, develop and mature the most. And the way that you're treated in school at that time can really shape the outcome of your life. And it doesn't necessarily mean that that's always going to happen. But if you have some sort of feature that people are constantly picking on, and it's something that you can easily fix through uh, plastic surgery, I'm actually for it. And I know a lot of people think that, you know, that's a horrible way to go about things. Just for the record, I think that her nose job and the chin job right. was a little ridiculous. A little, I, right. I don't think that it was necessary. If she was uncomfortable with her nose, she could have done that when she got older. Right. Um, but with the ears, you know, they were sticking out. They, mm -hmm. they were large. And yeah, she might have grown into them, but she was never going to get rid of the <clears throat> fact that they were sticking out so much. Right. Right. And if they want to get that changed, fine. I'm all for it. And I, I don't think that it's that big of a deal. I right. don't think she should have gotten him changed. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, any of it or no? Because then I think by changing her, by letting her get the surgery at such a young age, you're perpetuating the idea that one's self-esteem is contingent upon the way that they look, and it's just like I don't, I, well, I don't think it does anything it is, to fix the is, problem that is. they were trying to fix. Let's, let's be real. At 14, yes, it yeah, your looks is are horrible. At 14, that. I was really ugly, and I'm completely secure in myself now. Like what set me off in this particular case was the charity, because this charity is specifically supposed to be to correct deformities. And exactly. in my mind, I think of the cleft palate. I think of kids that yeah. are more at need than um, having your ears pinned back. I do think that it should be left up to the person because. I don't know what they go through. I'm yeah, sure right. it's it's horrible. I can go back, you know, when I had pimples or when I felt like I had oversized feet, I remember how shitty I felt. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine how shitty she must feel. However, um, I don't, I mean, I didn't think her ears were that bad when I, I was the picture. Maybe she would have, yeah, 
Yeah, she, but that's she, not. I'm not right. Her. No, she came in. She wanted to have the ear procedure done. Right. But I think the part that was a little disgusting was the doctor pointed right. out to her that her nose and her chin were also right. deformed yeah. or not good enough, and that and is he basically horrible. told her that it never occurred to her that she right. had an ugly nose Sweetie. and an right. ugly chin, yeah. and that made me uncomfortable. Right. Absolutely.